Let the past die. Kill it if you have to. I'm back. Roads Rants on Star Wars. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button for future Star Wars content. So for several days, I've had subs either email me or leave comments about, hey, we know you researched the hell out of shit. What's your take on this George Lucas 25% thing that's going around? Okay, what I will tell you is I have researched this into the ground, and I think it's valid. Now, um, did I find some red herring? No. What this is about is essentially George Lucas sold the rights to Lucasfilm and everything over except for 25% of the licensing, licensing for original trilogy and prequel trilogy characters if they are in the previous likeness of his creation. Okay, in other words, i.e. Luke Skywalker has a Mark Hamill face, black uh, cloak or black suit, green lightsaber, a la Return of the Jedi. Then, if that is sold for... 25 you know a hundred dollars it's a statue hundred dollars he'd get 25 dollars of it theoretically we're, we're just gonna go that way i think there's some truth in this and i'll tell you why number one and a shout out to nerd Rodics. i like that guy's channel he's the one that kind of got tipped off about this and from an insider it makes sense because in star trek the creators some of the creators did the same thing okay that is why, have you noticed that there's so many changes when it comes to J.J. Abrams' reboot for Star Trek? The color, the colors of the shirts are just a little bit different. The emblems are just a little bit different. Chris Pine. But if something is, is sold connected to Shatner in that old likeness, they get a cut. Back in the day, and this is the key, back in the day, George Lucas signed that original action figure contract with Kenner. Well, he self-admittedly said he didn't think the toys were going to do anything, and he signed a piss-poor deal, okay? And he'd made very little off that merchandising. Well, he made plenty because obviously they sold, but the point is he should have made much, much more. And then that contract got reshuffled later, and he made more later on, and then since the mid-80s or so, he's, he was banking off merchandise. It is my belief that the merchandise is the reason Disney bought this property. Not the movies, the merchandise, okay? Because they saw Star Wars has been a cash cow year in and year out when it comes to merchandise, even when there were no films, anything, Star Wars collectibles was still... I mean, look behind me. I'm a grown-ass man. I've got one, two, three. Um, I've got three Star Wars figures out here. And I can count... Uh, one, two, three, four, five... I can count five more on another shelf of mine. And then I got four boxes in my other room full of Star Wars collectibles. Okay. Uh, some of them vintage from, you know, 85 and before. And then some of them um, up to date. And I need to show those off in a video. <clears throat> but my point being, I think that's why Disney bought this property. Fast forward to the sequel trilogy. New, think about it. There's clues. Let the past die. Kill it if you have to. That is literally in the marketing for The Last Jedi. Think about that. Do you notice how much different Luke looks now? And I know, 30 years, I get it. But no green lightsaber in uh, The Last Jedi if he was doing the self-projecting thing, why wasn't he in his black suit with the green lightsaber? Why didn't he come back like that? 
Harrison Ford, Hans, got a new jacket. They even make a joke about it in The Force Awakens. I ain't got no problem with that, but you get my point. Has all of this been about making sure that George Lucas doesn't get a additional piece of the pie? If it is, that is a colossal fuck-up. That is why we have no episode one through six characters really and truly at Galaxy's Edge. And you'll say, yeah, but George came out and blah, blah, blah. Hey, George still has a vested interest to make sure that this stuff at least does well, or relatively well, because he is a massive shareholder, okay? But that doesn't mean that Disney wants to give him any piece of that park from a literal transaction on the spot since, right? You go buy a shitty lightsaber, they don't want to give him blah, blah, blah amount of it, right? I think I think this is valid. It makes sense. There's been so many changes. Do you notice that Lando's coming back in the Rise of Skywalker in the yellow Disney-approved outfit and not in his Bespin garb, not in his Return of the Jedi garb? Think about that a minute. The likeness has been changed enough they can package that figure and make the full amount of profit off of it. This is interesting. Um, I think there's truth to this. I really do. And and this is a massive mistake from Disney. I don't care if George Lucas does get 25% of it. Do you see what has happened from not embracing those characters? 25% of... A $20 movie ticket is a lot better than 0% of zero. You get my point. So, while I could not find anything concrete, I think there's absolute precedence here, and if you look at the clues, it will lead you down the road to believe this is probably accurate. And not unprecedented because of the Star Trek thing. So, there it is. You tell me what you think in the comments section. Road Squadron. Hit that good old subscribe button right in the face hole. Peace them out. Till next time.